Not sure if you guys can see that, but let's show you. It is smoking. Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are actually gonna see if a 15 year old Craftsman tool will survive a single video of the kind of test that I do. All right, we have a 15 year old 19.2 volt Craftsman here. And I honestly think this is gonna fry out within the first few minutes of the video, but we will see. And as you guys can see, the battery is full. All right, so as you can see, the battery is full. That's how you know that it's charged and it is charged. All right, so this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a really interesting one. So let's look over the specs really quick and I'm gonna see if I can find any other specs on here that uh, is not already on the tool. And we're gonna see if we could actually do this. Now, I will say this, it smells like, it smells like something is frying out in there just by turning it on. So we are going to see what this could actually do. Now this is 15 years old and I am not, this is my, my father-in-law gave this to me, so I'm not sure what he did with it over the 15 years. But I, uh, I don't think he does with his tools what I do with these tools during these tests. It's probably just 15 years of doing regular screws. Maybe, uh, you know, like drilling some holes out here and there, but let's see what this could actually do. I'm surprised that the lights on the bottom still work. All right, but let's look over the specs of this really quick and uh, let's see what this could actually do. Alrighty, so like I said, this is a 15 year old tool, 19.2 volts. The battery does have a stem on it, and there is a light indicator on, on how it is, I guess. It just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. There's a light right there as well. So yeah, the, he, the, that's just the battery indicator. Of course, red means it's dead. And so, yeah, so uh, this does have two bit holders on the side, one right there and one right there. LED lights on the base. It does have lights on the handle as well. It says C3. So right, so this is a half inch metal chuck with plastic housing. Yeah, it's definitely plastic. Two speed settings, zero to 440 RPMs and on speed two, zero to a thousand RPMs. That, that's it? No way, that's gotta be 1600. That can't be a thousand. It might be 1600, it might be 1000. Uh, there's a scrub, uh, the sticker's missing right there. All right, so this has a 23 point clutch plus one and the plus one is drill. Like I said, when you turn that on, it just smells like it's an overworked motor already. So I think that this is gonna fry out on the first couple of tests. But we're gonna start off small and go and then go bigger. All right, so for the charger, a uh, 19.2 charger, lithium ion, and NICAD charger. You could mount it to the wall. 85 watts, uh, 19.2, 12 to 19.2 output. Input 85 watts, yada, yada, yada. So let's actually, and as you can see, Craftsman 15 years ago still was made in China. Made in China. All right, so let's see what this could actually do. I doubt this is gonna do, do much. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, so we, we are gonna start off small, very small, something that this, this should be able to easily do, considering it's a 19.2 volt. God, you could just smell that motor. You just can smell that. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see what the, let's let's see what this could actually do. I have a feeling that this is gonna fry out just by doing a couple of timber locks, eight inch timber locks. We got it on speed two. It's on drill. We're gonna see what this can do on speed two. If it can't do it, then we'll go to speed one. Uh, right here is good. Battery is full. All right, so ready. Go, up, oh, ready, go.
time. Nope, a little bit more. Time. Let's do one more. It is on tie. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Oh, it, it, it's smoking. It's smoking. Oh, let's take it out. Ready? Go. Who? Take this out. Ready? Go. It did it. It did it. All right, let's do some specs. Then we'll move over to uh, two by uh, pressure treated two by four. Let's do one specs. It's on. It's on high. All right, ready? Go. Time. Smoking. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is smoking. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's actually move over to the, I have a four by six right there. Let's just go to that. That's already set up. All right, so let's do one more specs on this. Let's do one more specs on this. Let's see what this can do. Let's see if we can get a smoke out. All right, so ready, go. All right, speed one is required. Ready, go. Oh, my bad. Let's continue. Wow, you're struggling with that. I have 12 volt tools that do that easier. All right, let's take it out. All right, ready? Go. Time. It's doing it so far. Oh, I didn't mean to take that out. Doing it so far. Alrighty, so next we're gonna do a half uh, one inch spade bit. Right here is good. All right, so ready? A little bit more this way. Ready? Go. Up, speed two. It cut out. Wow. Speed one. It did it. Let's take it out. Oh, that's not good. You know what? I'm going to have to take this out. Yeah, you can do it. That's not good. All right, let's take this out. Let's have some. So I have something else. Take that out. Hilti 12 volt, my favorite tool right here. Bam. All right, so next, let's see if this could do a three quarter inch hole. All right, so ready? Go. Nope, speed one's required. Time. It did it. It did it.
Oh my God, and it's not on fire yet. It's not on fire yet. I give it props. For a 15 year old tool, we're gonna do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. If it survives doing this, then I give it props. Then I give it props. We're gonna try it on speed two. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. All right, so let's, con let's continue. Not sure if you guys can see that, but let's show you. It is smoking. But I'm not satisfied with that yet. Let's see if we can continue. Not talking to you, Siri. I said I'm not talking to you, Siri. And I think the tool died out. The LEDs aren't even showing on the bottom. Battery is dead too. Just by doing a couple of tasks. You know what, let's charge this up for a little bit. Let's see what this can do. 118, 100, 138 degrees. The tool got. Now to show you guys the battery. Battery is also 130 degrees. 130 degrees for the battery. All right, so we have a fresh battery. The battery is now green again. So obviously the battery will not last long at all during like its lifetime anymore. All right, let's see what this can do with the one and a half spade bit. All right there should be good. All right, so it's on uh, speed one. All right, so ready, go. Let's clear that out. It is smooth again all right let's continue it did it let's just grab the three quarter inch drill and let's just go to town speed one Totally fed into another hole. Yeah, at this rate, the battery is gonna, yeah, the battery's dying already. Alrighty, so I'm gonna call it. Yeah, the battery it can't hold its charge long enough for this to fry out, but it's still going. I mean, that's a 15 year old drill still going. All right, so I'm pretty much just impressed that this didn't fry out. Now it had major uh, issues with doing the tasks. You know, it did them a lot slower where the other drills do them in seconds. Now I just wanted to do this video just to uh, see on how well it actually can do and to see if we could fry it out. But unfortunately, the battery doesn't even last long enough to for the tool to fry out because this is a fresh charge. It's been on charge for a while and the battery is pretty much dead to do two holes. So yeah, it didn't, it, it, it just, the battery just doesn't have enough power for it to actually run. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is a very simple video. I just wanted to uh, do this and test this out. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.